Boss, I want to talk to you about Wells Fargo credit limit increase. How do you request a massive credit limit and be approved? Don't go anywhere, boss. You're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Also Suni Q Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you are to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. In today's conversation, I want to talk to you about Wells Fargo credit limit increase, how to request a massive one and be approved right off the bat. The first thing you need to do is to check your eligibility. It's important. So who is really eligible for a credit limit increase with Wells Fargo? The thing is, we and we have actually done a lot of research about this topic. Wells Fargo does not list specific requirements you need to meet to increase your Wells Fargo credit limit. However, there are a few general rules of thumb to keep in mind, and we have actually tested this ourselves with with the Wells Fargo cards that we have, but with some of our clients also. So, it's it's important, boss. Before you ask for a higher credit limit, you should have your card for at least six months. So this is basically you want to establish some credit history with them, some credit history in brackets, okay? Quote, unquote, credit history, because you want to give Wells Fargo the ability to analyze your usage of the card to make sure that they are comfortable with how you use the card and you are comfortable with their customer service. It must be what? It must be a win-win situation, okay? So six months gives you, I would say, minimum time to demonstrate a history of responsible borrowing, because at the end of the day, you're asking them to give you more more money to grant you more limits on the card. You, you better show them your ability to handle responsibly what they have already given you. OK, so six months is really a, is really the cut of time, the minimum here. OK, and second thing is your payment history. So your payment history should be spotless before you ask for a credit limit increase. So having late payments on your account history could lower your chances of being approved. And this is just what it is. Eddie. And this is pure logic. OK, this is logic. Remember, it's important for you to establish those two things, history and payment history. So history in terms of uh, six months, but also your payment history, your 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 responsible usage of the card. Decision time, big decision time, boss. Are you currently? I would say, uh, do you have a positive payment history with uh, your Wells Fargo credit car, uh, credit card? Talk to me about that, because the thing is, uh, if you're going to prove for those for the, for a limit increase and your current uh, history is not spotless, you better clean you get, you better clean that one first. This is important, okay? You should make sure your credit score is strong before asking for a credit limit increase, because Wells Fargo determines your initial credit limit based on your credit score and uh, your financial situation in general. So if your credit score is higher now that when you initially apply for your Wells Fargo credit card, that there is a good chance you may qualify for a higher limit. Step number two, boss, planning, planning. Now, there are a few things you need to do before you ask for a credit limit increase. And, I, and I'm going to actually show you how to do those things. Now, those few steps are quintessential. They are important. Don't tell me, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I could just go. I could just pick up the phone or just go online or just walk into a branch and just get the limit, the limit increase I need. No, 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 boss. There are things you need to do. First thing is you want to check your credit score. The thing is, you should be sure to have a good handle on your credit score, including how your current score compares to your score when you initially applied for Wells Fargo credit card. This is important. Now, one thing I want to say here is that it is very easy nowadays to check your, your credit score for free online. I mean, don't you don't you ever pay for uh, for a credit score? No, you have so so many avenues. OK, I've talked to you on other shows about annualcreditreport.com, which allows you to uh, to have access to your credit reports once a year from uh, from a, a website that is that was mandated by Congress. OK, so your trans union, your Equifax and your experience credit reports are available there or if you want something if you want constant monitoring of your credit report guess what you you have a uh, credit karma you have a um, wallet hub you have a uh, um, nerd wallet you have credit wise you have a uh, discover credit card i mean a lot of issuers offer this kind of a uh, free credit score monitoring 
patterns or or pages nowadays so avail yourself of those okay it's important to determine the credit limit increase you want to ask for have a clear idea okay you need to have you should have a an idea of how much more credit to ask for before you make a credit before you make a request because the thing is that if you don't know how much you need you might be you might end up getting something you don't want so right now i want you to really close your close your eyes and picture the limit increase you want do you want five grand ten thousand talk to me boss talk to me money 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 i love money you love money you want more you want you want more money right okay what is what is your number talk to me about your number and please don't you give me a a, a high uh, and i would say unrealistically high number you better be real realistic here right i mean if you if you if your current cards if your current wells fargo cards limit is five thousand dollars don't ask me to don't ask wells fargo to increase your your limit by a six thousand or, or ten thousand that would be like what two hundred percent no ideally you should uh, you should a ask for a credit limit increase of less than 50 percent okay so this is important and uh one thing you are you you want to make sure is that in terms of the planning you want to consider other options make sure that you are requesting a credit limit increase for the right reasons because if you are already struggling with credit card debt guess what boss a credit limit increase may not be the best option for you The third thing I want to talk to you about is a is actually the process. Remember, everything has a process. You need to understand the steps it takes to reach your goal, right? You need to understand how you sh how you should play the ball, how you should play the game, so you always win. And that's what I'm giving you on this show. I'm giving you logic. I'm giving you the code. You need to codify success. You need to codify your ability to get the credit limit increase that was Fargo credit limit increase you need and deserve. Okay. How to increase your credit limit uh, with Wells Fargo, step by step. Now, one thing you need to understand is that Wells Fargo does not allow you to request a credit limit increase online. They don't have that uh, capability. They don't, they don't have that feature. So you can call their customer service line or you can uh, go to a branch. So those, there are only two possibilities, okay? So you can call 1-800-642-4720. 1-800-642-4720. So if you want to request... If you want to do it all, if you want to do it over the phone, do it. Our preference is to walk into a branch. But if you can't do that, just uh, one thing you want to be sure is when you place the call, make sure you have your credit card number handy and be prepared to answer any questions they might ask. Be sure to let them know that the limit increase you're hoping for is a certain amount, right? Remember, you need to have a number in mind, okay? And you need to do a better job at explaining why you want it. It's important to give a good re a good reason for Wells Fargo for the Wells Fargo rap to actually increase you. Okay, you better have a clear idea why you want it. Don't tell me, well, you know, because it will be nice to have a ten grand. I'm currently at seven thousand, but it will be nice to have ten grand. That's not a good. Uh, that's not a good uh, excuse. I mean, we're not even talking about excuses, but there are ways to actually. That's not a good pitch. How about that? Talk to them about, hey, you know, I have this uh, large purchase coming up. Or my family is planning a vacation or you know I think just come up with something that works for you okay it's also important to note that asking for a credit increase may result in a hard inquiry on your credit report in some cases and this could temporarily impact your score so be ready about that okay credit card credit card credit card we all want a higher limit on our credit cards but the question is how about just being patient for a, for a second yeah because you know what? You may be eligible for an automatic credit limit increase from Wells Fargo after a certain amount of time because they periodically, I mean, they constantly monitor your credit usage anyway, and they might periodically increase you automatically. So sometimes you don't have to actually wait. You don't have to, to, you don't have to request yourself. One thing for sure, though, there is no specific timeline for this process, this automatic credit limit increase process, and there's no guarantee that you'll be targeted. So boss let's talk about the best time so you're just sitting there wondering when is the best time for me to ask for a Wells Fargo credit limit increase let's talk about that this is important well 
the thing is that when I'm talking about timing, I'm talking about to, I'm talking about making sure that there are things happening in a positive way in your life that could actually help you actually uh, make a stronger case for a higher credit limit increase. Have you recently got, gotten a raise? Talk to me about that. Have you uh, been promoted at work and you are basically making more money? Are you are you a new? Do you have a new job, a, a higher paying job? Let's talk about that. What are good things happening in your life? What are the good things, the rosy trains happening in your life? Let's talk about that. Those are things that, re that, that will really uh, help you get the Wells Fargo credit limit increase you need and deserve. I keep I keep insisting on that need and deserve. This is why when you talk when you talk to the to the Wells Fargo rep, either either on the phone or at a branch. You want to actually keep that in your mind. Keep that in your mind that you need this credit limit increase and deserve it. So an increase in income means that you will be able to what? To cover an increase in credit card expenses. We've talked about your DTI, right? You need to have an, a clear idea of your debt to income ratio and make sure that you actually keep that number as low as possible, possibly below 30% or possibly below 33%. Okay. Remember, though, that you may need to provide proof of your new income to get approved for a higher credit limit. So Wells Fargo might want to see that, hey, listen, I'm, I was making five grand before. Now I'm making eight thousand dollars. Oh, well, you know, you, I want you to show me proof. I, I want to see your W-2. I want to see your, your your pay stubs. I want to see your 1099 uh, and uh, and whatnot. I want to see your um, your tax return. Right. So so when we talk about the best time to apply for it was Fargo credit limit increase you have gotten a raise or when your credit score is good so a, a good credit score signals to Wells Fargo that you are a responsible borrower okay therefore you are more likely to make payments on time and understand how much you can afford to charge each month okay so money 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 you want more money on uh, your credit card or your Wells Fargo credit card you can also apply for that credit limit increase when you have a good track record. We have talked about payment history in the past, in the past, right? Let's talk a little bit about it. It's important because if you have a good track record, Wells Fargo is more likely to trust you for to trust you with a higher limit than uh, if you if you had a let's say a checkered usage, a checkered history in terms of your usage of the card. Right. So it's important to to uh, so think about those three best times you've gotten a raise. You've got a bonus or your credit score is good or you have good track records. Those are really great times to apply for this Wells Fargo credit limit increase. So I've talked to you about, about the best time. Let's talk about the, the worst time. Yeah. So the, the wrong time. See, there is a wrong time to ask for a credit limit increase from Wells Fargo or from any other credit card issuer for that matter. It's important. So if, you know, when you have recently requested increases uh, elsewhere or applied for new lines of credit, this is not a good time to apply for a Wells Fargo credit limit increase because a flurry of... Uh, request for new credit can be a sign of financial distress remember we don't want to give the wrong image to Wells Fargo boss you don't want to do that I don't want you to do that either okay so when you apply for new credit and sometimes when you apply for a credit limit increase a hard inquiry appears on your credit report right and so new credit application trigger a new credit penalty which may hurt your credit especially if the length of your credit history is short I mean if you had 10 years or if you have a uh, 15 years under your belt it's a different story than if you had say two years or three years so let, so let's keep the time the, the time interval the time uh, interval in mind we need to keep that in perspective it's important okay and uh, another time another wrong time to ask for a credit limit increase if you have taken on a lower paying job okay so if you have taken on a lower paying job especially if it's more fulfilling this is not the time to ask for an increase because your spending power has decreased. So the issuer, Wells Fargo in this case, has no reason to extend more credit to you. Okay, so those are things you need to pay attention to. You can. This could also be a wrong time if your credit is iffy. Okay, so if your credit score isn't good or excellent, boss, 
and you know that, I know that, everybody knows that, it is likely that you will not get approved for more credit because you haven't shown good judgment with credit in the recent past. So why should Wells Fargo give you more money if the, the, the little cash that they gave you right now, you are not even uh, able to responsibly use it? Yeah, boss. They're not, they're not actually risking their ass. They're not actually, uh, actually uh, banking more on your ass either because they want to actually see that you are a good user first. And another bad time to ask for a credit limit increase is if you are embarking on an overseas adventure, okay? Don't get me wrong. I'm not asking you to sit around and just uh, and not travel, okay? Travel feeds the soul. Everybody knows that. But it also makes you more susceptible to credit card fraud. So travel also frees, frees uh, your financial inhibitions, leading you to spend more than you normally would, okay? So it's important to actually think about that. I'll be right back, but after this, don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sorted Kiwi Show. I'm still talking to you about the Wells Fargo credit limit increase and we want to, we want to talk about how to make sure that you get the limit the right limit that you need and deserve okay now what do you do if Wells Fargo denies your request yeah because listen not every time I mean things aren't rosy all the time sometimes you might actually ask for a limit increase they might tell you no you know so you got to have a strategy you got to have tactics in place so that you are basically you know, coming out of the, the whole uh, equation, the whole transaction, better off. So if you decide it's the right time to up your limit, either call customer service or request a credit limit at a branch, okay? Do not be discouraged if your request is denied. You, Wells Fargo might increase your credit limit in the future when the timing is right. So think about it like, you know, think about this as a, I would say a minor setback for a bigger comeback. Let that sink in. A minor setback for a bigger comeback. This is important. So the thing is, if they turn if they turn you down, you basically want to wait. You can wait six more months. Okay. You should start thinking about using your card, your credit card responsibly. Think about your payment history. So you are basically paying your bill early or on time as often as possible. And we have talked about how to actually do this. You need to automate those things. You need to make sure that the, the money is coming out of your account automatically. So that, you know, because you start making mistakes, you start forgetting things if you want to do things manually. But if you automate everything and you have a dedicated account, you can have a dedicated checking account that will serve to help you make the payments every month. This is kind of cool. This is really cool. And this is what you want to do, boss, okay? And while you wait, you should spend some time building your credit history and credit score, okay? And you can improve your score by paying your bills on time, keeping your credit utilization low, and refraining from closing old lines of credit. Because you need to, you need to establish that uh, length of credit history, okay? And it's also important to understand that you want to consider applying for a new Wells Fargo credit card that could provide you with the additional open credit you need. So if you currently cannot get the credit limit that you need on an existing Wells Fargo credit card, how about just, uh, you know, apply for a new card? As long as you qualify for that new card, you can you, you should try it out. Some credit cards come with a 0% intro APR, while other rewards credit card lets you earn points or cash back for each dollar you spend. So if your credit score is not where you want it to be, you may qualify for a credit card for a borrowers with fair credit so the good thing was with the Wells Fargo is they have a large catalog of credit cards and you can actually pick and choose based on your credit and uh and uh, the kind of perks you are that you are seeking let me talk about the pros and cons boss are you there with me so it's important to understand that you got to have a clear idea about the pros and cons to consider when requesting a higher credit limit. You just don't wake up one morning, just brush your teeth and just have your muffin and say, you know what? I'm going to ask for a credit limit increase. No, 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 boss. Doesn't work that way. You, you got to think about it. See, there is some thinking going on here. There is some process in place. There is some logic. Why do you need the higher credit limit? 
talk to me about that because when you want a higher credit limit increase, I mean, when you want a higher credit limit, you got to think about the pros and cons. What are the pros? Pros, more available credit for emergencies, right? If you if they bump you from 5,000 to 8,000, you have more room to play. You have more room in your budget. A higher credit limit gives you actually lowers your credit utilization ratio. Your CUR is really important for your credit score. Okay, it also gives you more spending power for large purchases. So we're thinking about more spending power for emergencies, but also for large purchases. What are the cons of a higher credit limits? Now, you do have the potential to rack up more high interest credit card debt. Yeah, because you have the plastic in, in, in your wallet. You're like, well, you, you, you might confuse that, that plastic with your debit account, with your debit card. It is a credit card. This and your money. The money on the card and yours. It is what's for goes. Okay. And you have to repay when, when, when you charge after charging it on your on your uh, card. Okay. So that's important. And uh, another con is another drawback is that you have the potential for hard inquiry on your credit reports. Now, we all know that those, credit, those uh, hard pulls always shave off 10 points here, 15 points there from your credit reports. So be very careful here. Be very careful. So the bottom line is that when you think about a Wells Fargo credit limit increase, you better think about, you need to have a clear idea of the pros and cons, number one. Number two, you need to think about the timing. It's, a, it's really important. You need to think also about your financial situation because it's all about your financial situation. Are you doing better? Or are things a little, a, a little, uh, I would say a little negative right now in terms of your financial situation? Are you scraping by or are you just comfortably just uh, sailing through? Talk to me about that. Talk to me about your financial situation, right? Those are important things. We can't just get up and just say, you know, I'm going to ask for a credit limit increase. No, boss, it takes time. It takes planning. It takes preparation. All right. Thank you so much for your attention to this conversation. I was talking to you about the Wells Fargo credit limit increase. And there are a few things you need to know if you want to get the limit increase you need and deserve. So first, think about eligibility. Number two, plan. Number three, understand the process. Number four, think about the best time to apply for your credit limit increase or the request. Number five, think about the wrong time also. Number six, what do you have to do if you get denied? Number seven, the pros and cons in general of a credit limit increase with uh, Wells Fargo. Thank you so much for your attention, folks. I will speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.